Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, Dumpster Cam. I am coming at you yet again from the Aldi dumpster, my favorite dumpster. <laughs> I actually stopped by here this morning on my way home and there was obviously stuff in it but nothing takeable, is that a word? Um, because I believe somebody had been here last night, um, which is great. I was not here last night. I don't think I was. Um, so if there is good stuff in here, it is all fresh and new throughout the day today. And fingers crossed that's the case for us tonight. Let's go check it out. All right. That's empty. Lots more strawberries, obviously. I got some breads here. All right, we're doing good today. I see some more cereal and some more pancake mix. I definitely need a box. We'll start with this little one. I'll check these strawberries out in a second. I always take the non-perishable things first because the fruit and vegetable and stuff I find nearly every time I'm here, as you guys have seen. So there's our little box started. I'll go back for it for sure. Hmm. Maybe I need this bigger box, but maybe not. Okay, we got jalapenos, which I like for sure. Garlic toast. Oh, slipping through the cracks. Green beans. That one's open, unfortunately. Chicken quinoa. I think I'm definitely gonna use this bigger box. Two things of jalapenos. The strawberries are not looking as good as they usually do today. I will still take a few. Those ones look pretty good. <laughs> you guys see that? It's been a very... Ooh. Okay, that's broken. So now it's on my finger. And my bacon, but I won't let that stop me. Don't worry, I will sanitize and wash for sure. Those are cut, so I'm not gonna take those. I'm still working on my onions. All right, let me get this box out of here. I'm gonna pause you guys for a second. Okay, we're back on the other side. Um, I'm gonna grab a few more strawberries. Maybe I'll try some jam again, but no promises. <laughs> take this lemon. That's adorable. There's a hole right there, but I'm still gonna take them. If you were ever wondering how dumpster diving smells, it smells like strawberries. <laughs> I'm not a huge grape person. These are cotton candy grapes though. I'll take one and leave the rest for someone else. Um, 
That might be it for us in here today. I try my best not to dump good things, guys. Like, I'm going to, you know, obviously don't want to dump those in the back over there. But sometimes when I'm digging around, I do accidentally do that. So a lot more strawberries. Let me take one more peek on the other side. I just don't love bell peppers. I'll take two. I will utilize them. They're good for me. I should eat them. Oh, that was loud. I'm sorry. Pears I do love, though. Do you see how black those frozen bananas are? If somebody wants to come and I'll take these pears and I think that's going to be it for the Aldi's way. Just got through diving at Aldi and I am now at the Gordon's dumpster. These two are quite nearby to each other so it's not like I'm driving for too long in between. And let's see if there's anything for us in here today. Wow, it is quite full. Um, and I was actually just thinking about these rotisserie chicken buckets because I saw someone use them as plant starter, like the little greenhouses. So I definitely am going to take that. It's definitely got some gross stuff on it though. So I will start a box here as well. I'll find a better one than that. I think we have some more, but I'm gonna need to use both hands for that. Um, they make fresh juice here like every day. That's why it's in here so often, but I'm not gonna take it. I don't really enjoy it, unfortunately. All right, just cardboard again, which is good. Oh, wow, okay, yeah, see, there's all those chickens. So even if I have to throw them out at my house, I will keep the trays. This looks like banana nut bread. Yep. We got some more little wraps in this cheese cube tray. More bell peppers in there. Okay. Um, a focaccia bread, that sounds good. I think I'm gonna have to put you guys down now and start taking stuff. Wow, lots of bell peppers. Okay, I'll see you guys later. We are back home with the haul, and it is another fabulous, fabulous haul that I'm excited to share with you. Um, but I wanted to start here with the Gordon Food Service stuff because I think I've mentioned this before when I didn't take those cabbages, but like when I'm filming at the dumpster, my mind is just not working. It's like everything that I have ever known leaves my brain and my, my brain is just empty at that moment. So with that being said, um, I know that when I was filming at the dumpster, I said something along the lines of like, I'll keep the containers and throw the chickens out, but I want to ease your minds and let you know that is not going to happen. Um, I'm going to pressure can the chicken probably tonight, um, because it is evening on the fifth and these are dated for the fourth. So I'm going to go ahead and pressure can those up tonight. Uh, and then I can make chicken stock with the carcasses and can that up as well. And then I can use the containers as little mini greenhouses. So, like I said, when I'm dumpster diving and I'm filming, it's just there's nothing going on in my brain. So I'm, I'm sorry for anybody I frightened when I said I'm just going to throw out all the chicken because I will definitely utilize it. So I had six of those, and they were $5 each, which is still a pretty good deal considering it's a whole rotisserie chicken. I have the big cheese cube tray. 
And it says made right here, which is silly because they didn't actually make the cheese. They just put it on the tray. And then I have the Italian urban cheese focaccia bread, which looks really tasty. You think she's going to jump in the box? She's interested. <laughs> I'll let you know. She's pushing it. Okay, so I took those. Um, I just took one of the ham roll wraps because uh, that's all I needed at the moment. I took the banana nut loaf, and then I ended up finding some cantaloupe, or not cantaloupe, honeydew melon. So that is everything from Gordon's, and I have been taking more meats and stuff and cheeses recently, and the reasoning for that is because I'm trying to continue to make it through the winter, but also stock up on shelf stable and freezer full items um, for the warmer months as well. So we probably have one and a half ish months. She's in left of good cold weather diving, depending on how fast it gets warm, maybe even one month. Um, and then after that, I can no longer take, you know, meats and cheeses and things safely, or at least I wouldn't feel comfortable because usually I go very late at night and the stores have already been closed for three or so hours at that point. So I'm trying to stock up for now so I can s not survive, but, you know, continue to live off of my dumpster finds over the summer months. So that's why I'm taking more of those items, but I'm still going to put them to use. They're not going to waste. I have two bags of jalapenos. We are now at the Aldi side. Two bags of green beans. The other ones were broken open. Five containers of strawberries. Recently, I've just been dehydrating them, but maybe I'll try jam again, like I mentioned. I'm not, not positive. Um, of course, freezing and making smoothies and everything. Behind that, I have the bag of pears. As you can see, there are a few bad ones, but there's definitely some good ones in there as well. And then just the one cotton candy grape that I took and left the rest. We have the pesto chicken sausages, and these just don't look normal color, but I'm pretty sure that's what a chicken sausage look, looks like. Let me know if your chicken sausages look different than this. Uh, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure this is normal chicken sausage appearance. Uh, below that I have the three packs of bacon, which is again another thing I've been stocking up on because I love bacon. So these will go in the freezer, but I continue to eat it nearly every day. I have Six of these little mini pie crust graham crackers. It is open, like I said, but maybe I'll get rid of that top one, but there's still five at least good ones in there. I have one lemon. The two bell peppers, which I didn't take the rest of them or the ones at Gordon's because I just don't use them very often. They're not my favorite vegetable by any means. Underneath that, we have the Southwest chicken and quinoa bowl. Just a little freezer meal, super easy. And then we have the non-perishable items, which I also love to stock up on because I can use these forever and ever, and I do. Very appreciative. So this is the Vitality, just the Aldi brand, with red berries. So they already have my strawberries in here. They dehydrated them for me. <laughs> we have some Raisin Bran back there. We have two of the Banana Quick Bread Muffin Mix, which is interesting because this brand specifically, I find recently quite often. Same with the... Um, Pancake mix. I'm excited about that. And then we have the package of Texas toast. And that little pantry that I brought you guys to a, a while ago in one of my videos where I put some pasta sauce. It was empty the next time I checked. So I went back and I brought a box of cereal, a box of pancake mix, and um, some jars of tomatoes and pasta sauce and put those in there. So I'm sure those will be taken as well. Um, and I will continue to share what I can with that little pantry and then utilize and, you know, preserve what I can with what I find for myself. So that is it for the video. As always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel, Dumpster Cam. And I appreciate you guys and thank you so much for subscribing and all your nice comments. And I will be back soon with more Dumpster and other fun, fabulous videos. Thank you guys. Here's the rotisserie chicken in the jars. Uh, it's my first time doing hot pack chicken rather than raw pack chicken, and I think I still prefer raw pack, but this will still be great. Um, and I had some new lids that I'm trying out, and I did have one that didn't properly seal. It came off real easy when I just pushed it up with my finger, so 
Um, that's why you take the rings off and test it. But the rest of them look great and should be good to be shelf stable.